All right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson 31. And in this lesson, students are just gonna be practicing the standard algorithm of division, only this time we're gonna be doing it inside the context of word problems. Um, the idea is whenever you're dealing with a word problem, all of a sudden division could be, there could be two kinds of uh, descriptions of division. One is the partitive uh, method uh, or concept of division, and the other is the measurement style of division or the way of thinking about division. Partitive means you've got a certain number, that's your dividend, and you're going to cut it into five parts or divide by five. So cut it into five parts. So that's that's where you know how many groups you have, of, but it's the size of the groups that you're not sure of. That's the partitive. The other one is called the measurement method or measurement way of thinking about division, and that's where uh, you have a number, that's your dividend, um, and then when you're dividing by five, what you're saying is um, each group has a size of five, and we want to know how many fives are in this. So the size of the group is known, now you're trying to figure out how many groups are there going to be. And so in this lesson, uh, students are going to be practicing both kinds of division, and the trick will be uh, how do you dr draw your tape diagram to represent one or the other. So let's get started on that. So I'm not really going to be solving the division itself. I'm really going to be focusing on drawing the tape diagrams to help us, and then I'll show the division problem, but I'll leave it up to parents and teachers to help students solve the problem. So it says 500 millimeters, uh, milliliters of juice was shared equally by four children. How many milliliters of juice did each child get? So this is actually going to be the partitive technique where we know how many groups, it's four children, and the whole is 500 milliliters. And the question is how many milliliters of juice did each child get so we want to know the size of one group so this is the partitive technique where or method or type of division where we know the whole we know how many groups there are but we don't know the size of each group and so that's going to be 500 divided by 4 is going to be um, the division problem that we want students to solve and this is an example of what the tape diagram would look like. Here we have Kelly she separated uh, 618 cookies into baggies each baggie contained three cookies how many baggies of cookies did Kelly make? So this is going to be an example of the measurement uh, type of division in that we have our tape and that tape represents 618 and she's going to be separating those 618 cookies into baggies of three cookies so there's going to be here's a baggie with three cookies here's a baggie with three cookies here's a baggie with three cookies and dot 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 dot, dot. and the big question is how many baggies is she going to create now this is one way um, to model this tape diagram. I'm sure there's other ways to do it. And the idea would be the, pro the math problem that we're solving is 618 divided by 3. Only this 3 does not mean, this 3 does not mean we have three groups. This time the 3 says each group, we know the size of each group is 3. Now we're trying to figure out how many groups we have all together. And so this is the division problem that we are going to solve. Here we have Jeff, and Jeff biked the same distance. So the idea is whenever you have the number, uh, something that is equal, equal parts, and the word same is kind of a key word that's suggesting you're going to have equal parts or equal groups. Um, and he biked the same distance each day for five days. If he traveled 350 miles altogether, how many miles did he travel each day? So we're going to draw our tape, and that tape, the entire length of that tape represents 350 miles. And it says he biked the same distance each day for five days. So that means we need to take this tape and cut it into five equal parts. 
because each part represents one day. And the question is, how much did he travel each day? So here's a nice example of what the tape diagram would look like. What would be the resulting division problem? It's going to be 350 divided by 5. Now, parents and teachers, the one thing we're trying to avoid is students are going to be looking for a pattern, and they're going to notice, oh, you always put the big number inside, and you put the small number outside. Well, that happens to be true in fourth grade, maybe, but it's not a true story forever. So we really want to avoid having students think about um, this problem in that way, where, where they learn that they can always put the big number inside and the small number outside. And that's because ultimately students are going to be learning um, fractions. They're going to be learning decimals, in which case you might have an example where you say, well, um, you have three cookies, and you're going to share those cookies amongst, oh, I don't know, eight people. And so how much does each person get? In which case, you're going to have 3 divided by 8, in which case the small number goes inside and the big number goes outside. So we want to have students think of something a little bit more sophisticated than just put the big number inside and the small number outside. Uh, because here's an example in the not-too-distant future where it's actually the small number that goes inside and the big number that goes outside. So number four, a piece of ribbon is 876 inches long. It was cut by a machine into four-inch long strips uh, to be made into bows. How many strips were cut? So again, we're going to draw our tape and that tape represents 876 inches. And we're going to cut that ribbon into 4-inch long strips. So here's a strip, 4 inches. Here's a strip that's 4 inches. Here's a strip that's 4 inches. And the big question is, how many of these little strips are we going to have in total? So that's a nice example of what our tape diagram would look like. And the division is going to be 876 divided by 4. And our last example, we have five Martians equally sharing, equally sharing 1,940 Groblark's fruits. Uh, I hope it's low calories because if it is, then I'm going to totally eat it because that's what I need right now. So anyway, uh, how many uh, Groblark's fruits will three of the Martians receive? So we've got a little bit of a twist here. So let's first draw the model. So we've got a whole tape diagram right here, a big long tape, and that tape represents 1,940 Groblark's, Groblark's fruits. And it says five Martians are going to equally share those. So we're going to cut that into five equal sized pieces. Now this is actually a two-step problem because we're going to use division 1940 divided by 5 and that's going to tell us one uh, Martian but then their question is how much uh, fruit will three of the Martians get so what are we going to end up doing we're going to end up using some multiplication because once we know the answer for one Martian we're then going to have to multiply by 3 to actually answer the question of how many pieces of fruit will 3 Martians receive. And that wraps up, let's see, 4th grade, module 3, lesson 31, practicing the division algorithm, only this time using word problems.